Recently my RV air conditioner stopped blowing cold air. It turned out to be a quick and easy fix. Let me show you what happened and hopefully this video can help some of you out there with a similar issue. First I've got up on the roof and checked all of the basics. Fan motor, capacitor, looked for any signs of leak or physical damage, but everything looked fine. Then I turned on the air conditioner and observed the compressor. I noticed it was not turning on. You can usually tell that it's working by the sound it makes. It's this distinct humming or buzzing noise, just like those old fridges used to make, if you're old enough to remember. Mine was completely silent and it didn't have any vibration. So I turned it off and decided to check the thermal overload protector. Remove this nut and take out the protective cover. It's this little cylinder right here. It's designed to break the circuit if the compressor temperature gets too hot or when electrical current spikes too high. In either case, it helps to prevent causing permanent damage to the compressor. You can test it for continuity using a multimeter tool. In a normal state, it's supposed to pass the electric current. And if it doesn't, it's probably burnt out and it should be replaced. Mine passed the continuity test, but that doesn't always mean it's working properly. Over time, overload protectors may get weaker and start tripping the circuit immediately or too frequently. And your compressor would either not kick in or constantly cycle on and off. I happen to have a spare overload protector. As a matter of fact, every time we travel with an RV, I like to have a spare capacitor and overload protector with us. These parts go out fairly often and usually you can only order them online. So it's good to have them handy while you're out there camping and they're not that expensive either, around 10 to $15 each. You can swap out old overload protector or bypass it for a short period of time just to see if compressor will start working. Simply connect the blue wire directly onto the compressor. Bypassing is probably not the best option since there's some risk of damaging the compressor from high current, so if possible try to avoid it. After installing the new overload protector my compressor started working well again and so far I haven't had any issues with it. As you can see it's blowing 57 degrees cold air. My multimeter comes with this thermal probe attachment and it comes in very handy when dealing with AC issues. And you can also test your AC capacitors to see if they're dead. If you're interested, I'm going to drop the link for this tool down in the comments section below. I believe it was around $70 and it's really worth every penny. It helped me numerous times when troubleshooting electrical issues. I hope this video was helpful and if so, please let me know in the comments or hit the like button. Subscribe for more DIY RV repairs, tips and tricks.